you know, what, what are the baseline things that you do? And I know we touched upon a little bit of this earlier, but you know, your baseline when you, when you're getting started, um, what do you do in order to create a framework and a strong foundation to build upon? That is an excellent question. It's kind of like, yeah, like the question of like, what's your process? And yeah. it's kind of hard because it does take a village to do these things. Yeah. Um, it always does. Like the, I, I, you would, you called me earlier in the beginning part of this, like oh, the, one of the rare few that can do it all. And the answer is I can, I could, I know most of the pipeline. I know how it's supposed to go together. If you sat me down on the computer and say, I need this done, right, give me right. Red Bulls and a couple days and like, we'll get there, but it's not, <laughs> I prefer not to do yeah. that. Um, I love the experts in their field and what they're good at. Uh, but, but the process as a, as a creative director, um, or as a director in this sense, um, it really depends on what your your goal is and what you're trying to capture. But say, I mean, a couple mocap shoots are very much like this, which is if I was doing a motion capture shoot that is running real time into a game engine and they're playing particular characters for a set that's been built already, knowing all of those limitations and plotting that out accordingly is incredibly important. And that's very much the producer hat. Right. But as the director going, I know what my shots are going to be and I can stand on the stage with a virtual camera and see what those angles are going to be. So I know what I'm cheating and what I'm not. That actually, while I love that, and that's all kind of cool processes that go in my brain as I'm designing, that's actually very late stage. Beginning yeah. stages, if you have nothing, if you're completely open, um, it always starts with uh, traditional design. And yeah. I say traditional, like if you have a story that you want to tell and you stick with what you're most comfortable with, which for me tends to be a lot of uh, graphical poles. It tends to be uh, storyboards, uh, character design. All that is laid out based off of references and a ton of references. And you reference everything you possibly can. Have your designers go through them and, and very traditional game pipeline, usually, um, where they do a lot of the 2D design that is brought into modeling. Modeling gets textured, textures get rigged. Um, and if you're doing mocap, they're rigged for mocap capture and cleanup. If they're traditional animation, they are rigged for traditional animation. Uh, and that entire pipeline, I'm usually pushing more and more to kind of go towards uh, a hybridization of those two. Like if you're going to make a character for like a film, it makes so much sense now to make it so that you can also capture in real time. 